spicy jalapeno brisket. Here's a close up. I'll say this. Them some bitches put some jalapenos on there, buddy. Look at that. Look at them jalapenos on there. You see that shit? Damn, that's a lot of jalapenos. Spicy jalapeno brisket. This doesn't roll off the tongue. Hopefully it goes down the throat. This sandwich was $6.09. I think we got $6.09 worth of jalapenos on this bitch, though. Oh, look at that. Look at that meat. Oh. <laughs> Is that an onion ring? Yeah, it's got onion rings wow. on it. It's got some cheese on it. You know, for Arby's, this ain't a bad, bad looking sandwich. At least <laughs> once a video, when I pull out the knife, I get the voice of concern. Did you cut off Quentin's finger? You got really close to Quentin. You gonna hurt Q? If I wanted to hurt him, Oh, yeah, sharper knife. Spicy jalapeno brisket sandwich. I gotta say, on presentation, this looks pretty good. Let's break into it. You guys did see those jalapenos, right? You ready for bite two? You need a drink of water. No, I'm ready. I'm saving the water. <laughs> bite three. That's pretty spicy. Cheers. You ready to drink? Cheers. Here's what I've got on this, this sandwich. It's not a burger. This is going to surprise you. It's going to surprise me. going to go A. We'll give this a 95. It's solid. It is what we thought it was. It is everything that it was supposed to be. And they didn't skimp on the jalapenos. If you buy a jalapeno sandwich and it's in the title, then it should be there and there should be heat. Guess what? There is. The meat was great. The bun was good. I like the touch of the onion rings on there. We blew up Hardee's a while back, not Hardee's, we blew up Wendy's a while back for their pulled pork sandwich. I said certain kind of things shouldn't go into fast food. This is infinitely better than that sandwich. I liked everything about it. The only, the only nitpick I have was maybe if they would have put the sauce on top and bottom. I only got sauce on the bottom, just a little more sauce. And you know it must be really dry because I'm a no sauce guy. 95 out of 100. A. A? Wow. I don't really feel that way. I'm not surprised. I like brisket. I do. I'm a brisket guy, but I really don't like the jalapenos. I didn't really get any onion. Just wasn't that great. Just, I'm going to go like a C. Understood. The only thing I'll say in your way of the review, though, is if you were ordering a jalapeno sandwich. Yeah, then you, this is what you're looking for. Okay, you just didn't, didn't, yeah. didn't go, as they say in the South, you didn't cotton to the flavor of it. Never heard that before. Yeah, it's the old South. Like, what was that rooster? Foghorn Leghorn? <laughs> That's the kind of thing Foghorn Leghorn would say. You see here, son? That's what he used to say. That's awesome. You never. You, I've never heard anyone talk like that. You've never seen Foghorn Leghorn either? <laughs> nope. I weep for the youth of this nation. He, Foghorn Leghorn is the embodiment of a cracker. Not a crispy cracker. Colonel Sanders cracker. A hillbilly. No, no. There is oh. a difference between a cracker and a hillbilly. Elaborate. A hillbilly's got a little more twang to it, <laughs> and they they like to do things like use chicken wire to fix their their cars. A cracker thinks his station in life is a little higher, like Colonel Sanders. Oh. He's still an awful racist, but he pretties it up with better clothes, and he thinks he speaks better. He was racist. Colonel Sanders? Yeah. I don't know Colonel Sanders personally was racist, <laughs> but you're basing a guy putting him in the South in kind of a slave owner. Oh, he fits like an archetype. Yeah. Yeah, he very <laughs> much does. Now, come on, don't get all mad. I ain't even banging on Colonel Sanders. I'm just saying the archetype of like a guy 
that would be like in Django. Oh, Colonel Sanders. Perfectly. If Colonel yeah. Sanders would have strolled through the room in Django, people wouldn't have been out of place. In fact, they missed a good chance for some product <laughs> placement in that movie. He'd have been like, "Hey, y'all, here's some chicken." They sure did. I mean, I, I would have, I would have bought in. Off the subject, but since we're rambling, have you seen the trailer for Hateful Eight yet? Oh no, no, no! But I've heard of that. It's the the new movie from Quentin Tarantino. It's a western. Uh, what was the the dude in Django, the the German Doctor Schultz? Doctor Schultz. He's in that movie as Doctor Schultz. That is. So it's a awesome. prequel to the other one. Oh, that's awesome! So if you haven't seen the trailer for Hateful Eight and you like Django, go check it out. And if you hated Django. Disregard everything we've talked about for the last two and a half minutes. Look, look at my watch. Something else totally unrelated, since we're just going to talk. I did something today I never thought I would do. I enjoyed something from Smosh. Oh, wow. I know, right? Who thought? They made a movie. It's on Netflix. I was bored. I pushed the button. I was like, I'll give this three minutes. If you've got Netflix and you kind of like Smosh or you kind of like YouTube, go watch it. It was fairly entertaining. They have to go into YouTube to fix a video. So they're like running through all these different videos. Well, that's a pretty cool idea. I mean, it's kind of been done, but it was it was pretty funny. I was I was shocked and amazed. So yeah, if you have absolutely nothing to do and you're... You've watched all our videos, of course. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you've got some free time. Hop on over to Netflix and check that out. You got anything to add? Not today. Let's see. Well, what have we talked about? We've talked about uh, racism, the difference between a <laughs> cracker and a redneck. Hillbilly. Hillbilly. Um, we've talked about, I don't know, Colonel Sanders, Django, and the Hateful Eight. And we got we went from talking about crackers to smosh. Well, let's not forget the Pope's in town, and the world was supposed to end today. By the Pope's in town, you mean he's in the country, yeah, right? Yeah, he's in the country. I like your definition of town. <laughs> and was the world supposed to end because the Pope was here? No, no, like if you go on uh, YouTube, there was uh, literally like... Uh, There's a the source. <laughs> the 23rd of September 2015 was supposed to be like a, the rapture or something. Again? Again. There was a dude that made like a career out of that. Like every three years he'd predict the rapture and then write it out. And then he'd be like, oh, I miscalculated. That's a genius. <laughs> Seriously, like to the point that he had followers sell all their houses and stuff. Wait, who was he? He was an old dude. I think he finally died. He, he gamed the system. He got all this money and he got radio stations and whatnot proclaiming he was going to see this through. And then it didn't happen. He was like, oh, I miscalculated. But all, everybody had already sold all their stuff and he had all their money and then he died. Winner. Winner. He was like, I'll just keep predicting this out. I don't think I'll live another five years, so I'll say six years from now. And then he lived. He's like, I'll be damned. I miscalculated. Let's try that again. It's a pretty good scam he was running. Pretty good. Unless you're the people that were unfortunate enough to believe him. Yeah. I don't know. Something about that I don't understand. Selling all your possessions because it's the rapture. You're not going to delay it. It's not, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's a tangent. On that note, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Find us on all social media. Just search Mr. Happy 0121. We're on everything but MySpace, Pinterest, and Friendster. I tried to go to our social media to say we're not on. Yeah. I can't think of one. He is on Christian Mingle, he says. Yeah. Uh, just look me just up. Just look him up. He's booty 666. Nine. Nine. <laughs> six, 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 nine. Oh, it's yeah. It's a twofer. Yeah. Booty 6669. Don't get a lot. That sounds like a Minecraft gamer. Oh, yeah, it does. Hey there, booty 6669 coming at you. <laughs> That was Jared's YouTube name. That was Jared's. Oh, God, we're back to Jared. That video just finally went up today. Wow. But, really? like, in real time, people were like, no, that was two days ago. Three days ago. We're giving away the secrets of the... We need to stop it. Yeah, shh. They're watching. Stay vigilant. It's been a while since I said it. Don't give other YouTubers your money. They don't need it. Look at the size of most of them bastards. They're fat as hell. If they were poor, they they would need your money. They'd be all... But no. Look at... YouTubers are healthy. They got $80 haircuts. Oh, yeah. And they're yeah. fat. Except for you, man. You look fucking... You're not fat at all. <laughs>